UDOT is closing in on completion of one major project and closing a ramp on another project. Jed Bowl tells us how that construction may affect your commute, plus the latest on a tracks bridge made of foam. That's right, Bruce. Crews are working on road construction and tracks construction, and they made a lot of progress this fall with such good weather. There's good news for I-80 commuters, but a significant closure for people who live in North Salt Lake. I-15 expansion in North Salt Lake is half finished, but the on-ramp from southbound US-89 to I-15 closed this morning and will stay that way for two months. We're closing the ramp so that we can pave the concrete paving there in the southbound direction on mainline I-15, and then we also need to pave the little transition for the ramp itself. Access to southbound Beck Street remains open, but the bridge will be reduced to one lane. The entire project adds one lane in each direction and replaces four bridges. It is a little bit of a bottleneck in there right now, and it's never convenient to have construction, but we're doing everything in our power to reduce the impacts on the public. I-80 construction is nearing an end. All ramps at 13th East will reopen tomorrow, with the exception of the loop ramp that heads motorists westbound. UDOT will restrict some lanes this weekend for westbound lanes striping. We want to have that uh, the entire corridor open by Thanksgiving. There will be some additional items that we may need to come back, even perhaps even in the spring. But uh, the actual roadway will be open without any restrictions. And builders working on the 780-foot West Valley Tracks Bridge over the rail yard at the Spaghetti Bowl placed the final girder today. In March, we showed you early construction on the bridge approaches made from geofoam, a styrofoam type material. Since this does go over a UP facility, this was the, this was the fastest and efficient way to get over the yard. Obviously, it was uh, a bridge that's 780 feet long. They're moving along pretty quickly. The West Valley Tracks line is nearly half complete. Tracks will share that bridge with a pedestrian and bike trail that will connect to the Parley's Trail. For more details on each of those projects, look for the link at KSL.com.